It's that time of year again. We're the Concrete 24, and these two are getting married right here. Hey Z, it's good to see you here at World of Concrete. Yeah, we're back. What's going on today? Well, I just doing some normal live printing. We have some problems to start, obviously. It's pretty printing. Someone's had problems. But we got to take her out there. Thank you for Hilti for emergency help. But yeah, we solved problem. That's what pretty printing is. Uh, yeah, good printing with the quick print material as always. Was it the rain or the humidity? Yeah, it was the rainy Monday late church. Decided to give us a little drizzle. I'm gonna find a big clock, got it out, let's go. Oh, I appreciate the honesty, that's uh, pretty rare to see at a marketing presentation like this, but you guys got going, no problem. It was the, you just pulled all the other material out, fill it up. Yeah. It was like a what, how long did it take, 10, 20 minutes? Yeah, about 20 minutes, a clear clock. Not bad. Not too bad, yeah. And yeah. so how much higher do you think you'll expect to go today? How much what? How much higher on this print? Well, we're gonna print like 20 layers. Nice. It's very really small print, pretty cold. And this system's quite different from the last one you had. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all of it comes from the whole job site of Iowa. A lot of the lessons were learned, a lot of the upgrades were made. We just put the guys working in. The guys want a lot of things done. What are the big upgrades? Well, for we got a much bigger mixer, much bigger comp. Everything is weighed now, water control more control and uh, also we're logging everything we can so we have backlogs of what happens later on. That's awesome man, great to see it, thanks. All right. Here we've got the Geopolymer International booth and they've partnered up with Maxi Printer and they got the Instructions 3D system there, the first one in the United States. We'll take a look at that over there. And this is a smaller system, they're able to print that Geopolymer mix there, it's a silica based Geopolymer as opposed to Alkali, which they don't really consider a Geopolymer here. Let's take a look at that maxi printer over there. We're here with Antoine, CEO of Constructions 3D, seeing our first maxi printer in the state. Welcome. Welcome to Las Vegas. Thank you for welcoming us, USA. It's amazing here. We have a very good time with lots of friends in, in, in the place showing our maxi printer. Maxi printer is our biggest machine, 3D printer that prints buildings. So. See it moving in the air, following the pass that content our programmer launched in our slicer. So this is the print launcher. This is the the, the this is the post where you manage your prints. You were so, showing some incredible data collection. Yeah, see my wife under the camera, so you can zoom in and see what you're printing, and all the data are logging in in the in the in the computer. So, so that means like you have the temperature, humidity. So of course the oil temperature, air temperature, everything you need to know, and you can. Hot in here. You can choose all the, the, the data that you want is covered. So the spawn speed and you can log in every every parameter you want to fix and check. That's so incredibly it, comprehensive. Yeah, the thing is to make it easy for a constructor to really use the technology. So this is very key. If you have something so geeky that nobody can use it, how a contractor will want to go print house. So this is how it took us seven years to make something comprehensive. So thank you for seeing that, Jared. Yeah, thanks for showing me. This is incredible. Can't wait to see it in action. Yeah, let's print more buildings in the USA. Dubai is ahead by a lot. So please, go, go, go. Print the building. All right, the race is on. This is Gaudi's indoor booth where they prefabricated this ADU structure. You can see some of their structures like that one in China, which we visited five years ago. Now they're going to be selling printers in the United States under a new brand named Gaudi instead of Winsun. We'll take a look at their outdoor printing in a bit. And then how do you cut the steel? Out? Here at the Putzmeister booth with Marcus. How's it going? Cool, yeah, it's excited to see here at World of Concrete lots of um, a new 3D printing system. Um, it's exciting um, that lots of partners in the industry are also getting in this industry. Um, and yeah, we're happy to, to share um, our Kara system. Um, so we're in the process of also entering the market. Um, uh, we're really setting on the ready mix infrastructure. And um, yeah, looking forward um, uh, to uh, further develop this market together with our US partners. Thank you, you guys have so much experience getting concrete in hard to reach places with all these crazy trucks around. So you'll turn one of them into a concrete printer. 
Right, um, uh, so the, the, the basis of our car loss system um, is a standard concrete pump um, and as mentioned we're also using ready mix material with a crane size of up to 8 millimeters. Um, uh, but for sure the preciseness of the boom um, is actually the major challenge um, and that's what is the big difference of our car loss system. I love that you guys are taking such a unique approach with no hollow infill and so many different things. I can't wait to see one of your systems in person. Absolutely, um, and for sure we were trying to tackle the productivity gap um, in our industry, um, but for sure besides the productivity, we also need to have an economical system and we believe um, by using this standard concrete, um, having solid walls, um, uh, we're, we're having a good system at the end um, uh, and the next weeks and months um, will be exciting um, to further develop that. All right, thank you. Thank you. Here's a little robot that takes your construction plans and marks them on the floor so that people can more easily understand which parts of the construction go where. Here you can see their system in action. It looks like they have some kind of camera that is able to help the robot determine its location. Sometimes you'll have lasers which guide the system from the corners so that it can triangulate its location. Now you see the robot moving and I'm not sure it's actually marking anything now, but you can see the marks how they would have been. Here's the quick free booth, and this year they're printing concrete live at the show. They've got the mixer pump system hidden behind there, and they're doing a live demonstration with our buddy Bing over there. And the print looks like it's going great. It's tough to do things like this live, but they're getting a good print quality, and the printer's moving pretty quick. They've got their own robotic arm system for this uh, print setup, and this is one of the three teams printing this year. Hey, how's it going? Good morning. My name is Alexi. I represent a MTG company. We one of the biggest company in the world. We produce serial 3D printers and we are start new project in Florida during March. So you're welcome and come to see it. Awesome, I'll be there. You're welcome. Well, you can't have concrete without rebar, and these guys are planning on automating the rebar production process. You could see how these would be able to lift up a piece of iron, bend it into shape, and then place it onto this production line, managing an entire facility in a warehouse without too much need for human interaction.